In this week's This Week in Robot Combat, Battlebots, Bugglebots, and other bots. But quickly, we have no time! This week's abridged edition of This Week in Robot Combat. I'm on holiday, the Wi-Fi is awful. So, best of luck everyone. This won't be out on Sunday. It certainly won't. Anyway, today's first story is that teams from BattleBots are getting their robots ready for what we believe is the new series that was announced last week. So far we've seen Tombstone being built and we've seen the wonderful Witch Doctor put their weapon up to full speed, something that they didn't do in Series 3. There is a full test video on their YouTube channel, so go and check that out if you want. It's quite scary, and they've got a speed gun thing. Meanwhile, over the pond, over here, we have teams from the UK getting ready for, I assume, live events and other things as well. Two-Headed Death Flamingo is prepared for this year's live events with new pecking beaks, new little front wedgie things, the new wheel setup that means that they can be easily replaced or remade or whatever, and somewhat controversially, a shorter wingspan. There's a full build diary on their Facebook page, so go and check that out if you want to read up on everything that they have been doing recently. Meanwhile, more news on what we assume is relentless. This picture was put up on both the Rapid and Pulsar Magnetar etc Facebook pages as well as this photo of them testing different materials to make the wheels out of. There seems to be new photos of this build every single week so do check out those Facebook pages for more info. New York Toy Fair has been in full swing this weekend and the Hexbug stand holds something very interesting in this photo that Bite Force has been on display in the Hexbug booth. Now, this is wild speculation at this point, but it may point towards the fact we possibly are getting a Bite Force toy at some point in the future. Now, the toy would make a lot of sense as Bite Force have now won two of the modern series of BattleBots, but as I said, wild speculation, and there will be more news coming soon, hopefully. Also on this weekend was a robot fighting live event called Motorama over in the US where teams from BattleBots competed. We had a mini version of Huge, this axe robot from Team Valkyrie. We also had Mammoth, which is a hopeful for the next series of BattleBots. And lastly, something from Team All Black Robotics who drove Red Devil last series. Next, we turn to BuggleBots, and potentially for the last time in a while, the UK went up against the rest of the world, and the rest of the world took out a shock win for the first time ever in any sort of international competition. WeeWoo beat the Berg in what the Berg would call controversial circumstances. Drizzle was beaten as well. Futumishi pitted. And lastly, Lame finally won a fight defeating Zero Gravitas in the remaining five seconds of the fight, meaning that the rest of the world team took a 4-0 win over Team UK. And lastly, Grand Slam Live 2 happened last Friday with some interesting developments on the technology side, though the whole thing went rather well overall. Unfortunately, the event started late due to the YouTube upload going wrong early on. Now. I couldn't have prevented this, my laptop crashed, but anyway, enough about that. The event is still available over on the YouTube channel World of Woodrow, which is mine, that you're on right now, so go and check that out if you so wish. Definitely worth it, it's only 20 minutes-ish long, and just watch out for the ending because the sound goes really weird. Again, weird edit. Not sure what happened, but there we are. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this. Do like if you're liking it, do subscribe if you're new, and I shall see you next week for more news. Remember, keep an eye on that hex bug thing at Toy Fair. Be exciting. <laughs>